Hey y'all, welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. This morning, I am slightly freaking out because I am in no way, shape, or form ready for the Christmas holidays to be here. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve and I feel like I am just not ready. I feel like I have not fully immersed myself into Christmas. It's just been a wild December and all of a sudden the holiday is here. Last night we got home from Washington DC at about 1 a.m. So this morning Cody and I were both flat out exhausted. He had to drag himself to work and it took everything in me to drag myself out of bed this morning. However, there are some things I need to get accomplished today. I've got to stop rambling so let's go ahead and get Vlogmas Day 23 started. I'm gonna go ahead and throw myself together a pot of coffee this morning because it is desperately needed. Yesterday, Cody and I were up at like 7 a.m. and we got ready for the day and it was our last day in DC. So of course we had to fit as much as possible into our day. We walked all over the place, saw all kinds of different things. And by the time we made it home last night, we had taken over like 23,000 steps. My body is not used to taking those amount of steps in a day, especially I had on some boots with a slight heel in them. And y'all, oh my golly, my booty, my quads, my calves, my feet, everything is in so much pain today. My body is just not used to this nonsense of walking, especially up hills, because we don't have hills. So yeah. We had a great time, however, in D.C. It was so, so, so much fun. I was so excited because that was the first time Cody and I had ever gone on a trip together where we flew. Cody has this fear of flying, but he got on the plane. We were on four different airlines. He didn't fall out of the sky, so all was well in the world. I got the coffee going and now I need to stop rambling on. I need to go hop on my computer and find a couple of breakfast casseroles for Christmas morning. And I need to figure out the ingredients I need and I've gotta run up to the grocery store. So that is first task on the agenda because I figure as the day goes on, the lines at the grocery store are just gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Oh, it's a crazy time of year right now. All right, that's brewing, let's go. Coffee time, coffee time, it is coffee time. I need to make myself some coffee because I need caffeine really bad. I am tired, let's make coffee. Okay, I'm done singing, sorry y'all. Oops, forgot to film it, but added some heavy cream in. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the sugar-free hazelnut syrup because this tastes so darn good. I never thought I would like it, but it tastes delicious in my coffee. This little Cooper Pooper right here, we got home from Washington DC and he's toothless. All of his canine little sharp puppy teeth are gone and I feel like that is reason for a celebration because you won't slice my face open anymore with those sharp little teeth. What you want, Bobo? What you doing over here? Look at that little nub just a going. Look at that little nub just a going. I'm not even touching you, but it's going. Ow. Here we have a Cooper helping me wrap presents by shredding apart the extra wrapping paper all over the floor. Well, you're doing such a good job, Cooper. Such a good job. Okay. 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 And little Bo is just chilling over here out of the way. Hoping that I put more food in his bowl. Right? Yeah. Now what are you eating? More wrapping paper? Is that what's in your mouth? Yep. Pieces of wrapping paper. Oh my golly. I just wanted to sit down and chat with y'all for just a second. Kind of give you a little rundown of the next week or so in my life because it's going to be a crazy one. So today is December 23rd, which means tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then it's Christmas and then the following day I am flying to Houston, but I'm not really spending much time at home. So I'm going to be at my parents' house for two days 
and then me and my mom are driving to Austin, Texas to attend a wedding. And then we have a day that we're gonna spend in either Austin or San Antonio, Texas, because the next day after that, we have a wedding in San Antonio. And then I fly back to Alabama from San Antonio. So I am going to be all over the place. We have my grandmother coming into town tomorrow. It's just, I got a lot going on. And it's the holidays, we're doing all kinds of things, and I am going to be taking a break from keto. So it's the holidays, I am traveling, and honestly, the last thing I wanna worry about right now is every morsel of food I'm putting into my body. I plan on eating like a normal person for the next week. I don't plan on like binge eating, but you know what, sometimes it's nice to just take a break and not stress out about food all the time. So that's a little update, just until the end of the year, I'm not going to be solely focusing on keto. I probably am going to enjoy a couple of things. And then at the start of the year is when I'm gonna start hammering down on a couple of things in my life, like my diet. I also just stopped my CrossFit membership within the last week, and I have some new plans for the type of exercise I wanna do. So yeah, there is a lot coming, but the next week or so, I am just going to live my life, enjoy hanging out with friends and family and traveling, and it's just gonna be a good old time. And sometimes, if you wanna make this diet a lifestyle, sometimes if you go off of it for a week, so what? You come back and you continue on with your life. If you are like, I am never going to eat anything I love ever again in my life, you won't be successful. Just my two cents here, y'all. So yeah, that, that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I just finished making my grocery list, so I got everything I need. My plan is to make a cinnamon roll breakfast casserole and a tater tot breakfast casserole to take over to Cody's parents' house on Christmas Day. And then tonight, I am going to make meatloaf and mashed potatoes. The other day, Cody was just like, talking about how much he wanted some homemade meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So y'all, I normally don't cook my boyfriend some nice hearty, you know, home cooked meals and I am going to surprise him with this nice delicious meatloaf and mashed potatoes that I make from scratch. So I am really excited about that. He's going to love that because I know he's going to have a really long day at work today. So he can come home to a fabulous home cooked meal. Yay! But so I have my grocery list and now I'm about to head out and go brave the grocery store. Hey, Cooper, get in your kennel. Come on, get in your kennel. Go, go, go. You are such a good boy. He lives to go jump in the kennel so he can get treats. Good boy. Such a sweet boy. I finally worked up the courage to come brave the crowds at Winn-Dixie. And I see Cody's car over there, so he should be inside working. So we're going to go find him. What's up? Hey, how are you? Okay, well, I won't bother you. You look busy. Love you. Stop by to get your flu shot today. It's no Someone just called me over to the butcher department and we are buying a $65 rib roast because apparently it's normally uh, $16.49 a pound, but it's $5.99 a pound. So we're buying one of these bad boys. All right. What? The one we're getting bigger than all those. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess, I mean, we shall see. Hopefully, it's a pretty good deal. I think it is. Yeah, it's a good deal. It's all ribeye. It's a huge ribeye is what that is. It's a big ribeye roast. What do you think a ribeye is? It's well, I know. <laughs> Cody, you have a meat science degree. I know what this is. But, yeah, that's a really good deal. Saving 10 bucks a pound, so. Heck, yeah. My Christmas grocery haul, I think, is totally complete. I won't have to go grocery shopping again until 2020, I think. Heck yeah! So, here's a little rundown of what I got. I got some cheese, and it was buy two, get one free. So, I had to pick up a third block. 
Got some cinnamon rolls and crescent rolls for casseroles. Half and half for casseroles. Breakfast sausage, bacon, ground beef for meatloaf. Tater tots for my tater tot casserole that I'm making for breakfast. Some red potatoes to make mashed potatoes with our meatloaf tonight. Some green onions. And then I grabbed these so I can make these for lunch because I haven't eaten anything today. And they were like $3 off. So picked those up. And then I picked up a couple cans of green beans because Bo has been so hungry lately. But I can't keep pouring him food because he's going to get even fatter than he already is. So green beans are like a low in calorie treat for your dogs. So you can replace about 10% of their kibble with some green beans as a low calorie alternative that they love. So I picked up a couple of cans to try that. Some peas to go with the meatloaf tonight. That is what Cody requested. Some breadcrumbs, some chili sauce, more green beans. This gingerbread house was half off, so I picked that up so I can force Cody to make a gingerbread house with me later today. Some vanilla extract, and the star of the show is this bad boy over here. So this roast was originally $177, and I got it on sale for $64.45. I had the butcher slice it into one inch steaks. So we basically got 10 ribeyes for $64, which is a fabulous deal. So we went ahead and bought it, although we still have zero freezer space. So I think we'd have to take it to his parents' house and I'm gonna vacuum seal it. There's a vacuum sealer somewhere up here among all of this. So I think I'm gonna vacuum seal them so that we can pull them out two by two to cook and have to go freeze them at his parents' house. But that's just like, too good of a deal to pass up. So we got all this meat, but that's about it. That's what I got. Now I need to put it all away, make my lunch, and then I need to get these dogs to the dog park before it gets dark today so that they can have a little run around time, right? Get out of the house for a little while. I don't know what you're eating off the floor. That's great. Yeah. Oh, stretch it out, little one. Yeah, why well, you look so sad, little potato, yeah. While I was at Winn-Dixie, I picked up these jalapeno poppers. I had no intention of buying these. However, they were on sale and I didn't have anything to eat for lunch. So, here we are. I'm going to pop these in the air fryer. They are stuffed with cream cheese wrapped in bacon. So, we are going to pop pop them in there. I think I'm going to do about 370 or so, which is maybe there. I don't know, I guess. And we're going to say 15 minutes because those are some big old jalapenos. About 15 minutes at 375 degrees was perfect for these jalapeno poppers. That bacon is perfectly cooked. Um, yeah, I nailed it on that one. So I am letting these cool and then I'm gonna snack on these for my first meal of the day. We needed to come to the dog park and let them run out a little bit of their energy. You want the ball? No jumping, Bo. Go get it. Go get it, y'all. What is it? Look at that happy boy. Look at that happy Bobo. I love me a happy Bobo with all kinds of dirt on his tongue. All right, go get the ball, bud. Look at him go. And Cooper pestering him. Come here, doggies! What you doing, Cooper? Look at that little tongue. Remember how I got some green beans to give to Bo? Well, Bo ate everything in his bowl but the green beans. So I guess that's not going to work. But Cooper is cleaning them up for Bo since he doesn't want them. Watch me when I feed it to him. He'll eat it when I feed it to him, and he makes a really disgusted face. He's like, ugh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, you spit it out this time? Oh, okay. All right. You were supposed to eat these to help you lose weight. You gotta eat your greens. Why do you take it to spit it out? Thank you, Bo. <laughs> well, we tried. We tried, Bo, we tried. 
it's about six o'clock and I want to go ahead and get started on dinner because this is probably going to take me a little while to throw together. So I have not made mashed potatoes in probably three to four years. It has been a very, very long time. So I went on Pinterest, found this garlic parmesan red mashed potatoes recipe, and that is what we're trying. So I am going to be using these red potatoes to make this. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash these, quarter them, and we're gonna get them boiling in some water. I added the entire five pound bag of potatoes into the pot because otherwise those potatoes are gonna sit on my counter and rot. So I figure I'll just set aside most of the mashed potatoes and I can bring them to Christmas Eve dinner tomorrow. So, score, got me a dish to bring. <laughs> what I did with the potatoes was I let them come to a boil and then I turned them down and they simmered for about 25 minutes. And I just checked them with my little spatula thing and it seems like they are quite tender. So I think that they are just about ready to be drained and then we'll go on to the next step. And then for the meatloaf, I just got started on that. I found this on Pinterest. It's called the best meatloaf recipe. Hopefully they don't steer me wrong. And so what I did was I followed this second step in a bowl combined eggs, milk, and breadcrumbs. And then this mixture has to sit for five to 10 minutes. So it was two eggs, three fourths of a cup of milk, and three fourths of a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. So I just mixed that all together and I'm guessing it kind of sits here and kind of forms a thicker mixture. So that's just gonna chill. And I guess we'll go ahead and drain the potatoes. I drained the potatoes and added them to a bowl and Cody is mashing them. And I think I need a much bigger bowl, but I cannot find one for the life of me. So maybe I don't have a huge bowl. Guess I need to order one. But we added it to a bowl, added a cup of milk, a stick of butter and a bunch of salt and Cody has been mashing it with a potato masher and now it's time to go in with a hand mixer and make them nice and smooth and fluffy. Since I can't find a bigger bowl, I'm gonna have to mix this meatloaf in this smaller bowl and hope for the best. I have a little over two pounds of ground beef. This recipe calls for two pounds of ground beef. So I'm adding just a splash extra of everything. So I'm gonna add ground beef, a chopped onion, a tablespoon of chili sauce, Italian seasoning, and parsley, and then we'll mix until just combined. So let's, let's do that. Here is my attempt at forming a meatloaf. I think this is the first time I've ever made a meatloaf. So we shall see how it turns out. I'm about to pop it in a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes. I just pulled the meatloaf out after 40 minutes in the oven and I just made a sauce to go over the top. It's a half of a cup of ketchup and a half of a cup of chili sauce. So I just mix that together and we're gonna pour it over the top and it's gonna go back in the oven for probably 15 minutes. The meatloaf is done and it looks really good. I hope it tastes as good as it looks because like I mentioned, I don't think I've ever made meatloaf before. And then we have this giant bowl of mashed potatoes. This is huge. We'll probably scoop out our servings and then I may set this aside to take to Christmas dinner tomorrow. And then I cook Cody some peas. Look at that. We got us a nice dinner and I am so looking forward to this. I love meatloaf. So I'm really hoping I made some that I'm going to enjoy. All right guys, I just looked down and we have a very unsolved mystery in our house. So Cooper keeps getting unopened tampons. I have no idea where he's getting them from, but for the past week or so, he's been bringing me unopened tampons. Look, I have an entire pile of them on my desk because he keeps bringing them to me. I don't know where he's getting them from. I've searched all over the house, but somehow that's the third one he's brought me today. Bo, do you have any answers to this? Is there a secret stash he's got somewhere? I need answers, Bo. I need answers. I just looked over again and look what he has in his mouth, Cooper! to add to my collection on my desk. Where are you getting those from? Oh my God. It 
is much later into the night now. It is currently 11.41 p.m. So earlier I made that meatloaf and mashed potatoes and y'all, ooh, I have a hair that is going crazy. I am so proud of myself. The meatloaf was mwah. The mashed potatoes were fabulous. And I was very proud of myself for making a very delicious meal. I enjoyed cooking it. It turned out great, so all was well in that department. After we ate dinner, I laid down on the couch. I watched two sappy Christmas movies and cried, and it was great. And now I can't hold my eyes open any longer. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all tomorrow with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.